a lot of men as they get older usually have regular check on their PSA to monitor their prostate for a potential prostate cancer. Now prostate cancer is actually one of the most common types of cancer that affect millions of men. But did you know that there are some certain things that can increase or spike up your PSA level and skew your PSA test results? Well, today in this video, we are going to be talking about all of those things and then how you can potentially reduce them, all right? Now, PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen. It's a protein that is produced by your prostate gland, all right? Now, both healthy prostate gland and unhealthy prostate gland actually make this protein, all right? And then how much of this protein should you have in your bloodstream to know if you have a prostate cancer? But the thing is, there is no normal or abnormal PSA level in your blood. But before now, a value of 4 nanogram per me was considered to be normal. But some individual with lower PSA have a prostate cancer, while some individual with higher PSA do not even have prostate cancer. All right, so because of this, most of the time, we have to rely on the symptoms, all right? So now let's talk about some of those things that can increase your PSA level, that can spike up your PSA level, all right? Now the first thing which we are going to talk about is aging. Now as you start aging, would you actually notice that your PSA trend also increases and then that is normal. And then in younger men, lower PSA level are generally expected, while higher PSA level are considered to be normal for older men. So, but the thing is higher PSA level are not always an indication that you have prostate cancer. Now the second thing which I'm going to talk about that is very age dependent is the size of the prostate gland. Now, majority of men, as they get older, are going to have this condition called BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, or an enlarged prostate, all right? Now, people with this condition have their urethra skews in such a way that it becomes more difficult for urine to pass through it. They are going to have, be having those symptoms of an enlarged prostate, painful urination, and all of those things. And then their PSA level also increases at the same time. Now, I've actually made a video on some of the best way you could shrink your prostate. I'm going to put the link of this video in the description below. All right, make sure to check it out. Now, the number three thing that can potentially increase your PSA level is when you have inflammation in your prostate, all right? When you have prostatitis. Now, this prostatitis sometimes is caused by bacterial infection. Now, when you take some antibiotics, that is going to help wipe away this bacteria. And then you also need to be taking a lot of vitamin D, all right? Vitamin D is very anti-inflammatory and it's also very antimicrobial, all right? So I would recommend you start taking vitamin D. Now number four is wheat bread. Now wheat bread is also not very good for your prostate. It can increase your PSA level. Now in one clinical trial study that was conducted, the group that was given wheat bread had their PSA increased by 16.4%. So if you are looking to lower your PSA level, I would recommend you stop taking wheat bread, okay? It can raise your PSA level. Now number five is when you have urinary tract infection, all right? But this is actually temporary. Once you get it treated, your PSA level is going to return to normal, all right? Number six is vegetable oil. Now you hear cases of certain foods causing prostate cancer or increasing your risk of prostate cancer. It's not actually that food. Sometimes it can be the oil you use in preparing that food because some of these oil are very pro-inflammatory. They can cause inflammation in your prostate, which can increase your PSA level and also increase your risk of prostate cancer. Where there are healthy alternatives you can taste like an avocado oil and olive oil. Those are healthy type of oil that you need to start using and the last thing which we are going to talk about is red meat. Red meat, excessive intake of red meat is not very good for your prostate. They contain some unhealthy fat that can severely affect your prostate, that can increase your risk of prostate cancer, as well as increasing your PSA level. All right. So red meat is actually a no-go area when it comes to PSA. So if you have increased PSA before now, Make sure to reduce your red meat intake as it's going to significantly increase your PSA and also potentially increase your risk of developing prostate cancer. So these are some of the things that can potentially increase your PSA level. All right. 
Thanks for watching.